I'm Ron Polk, and I'm making a lot of progress on the Smart Wood Shop. Yesterday, I had UPS and then FedEx show up with a couple of new things that I ordered off Amazon Prime for the Smart Wood Shop. From Flexzilla, I got my 100 foot 10 gauge, so this is a 10-3 extension cord. This will be the power supply for the entire smart wood shop. It'll go on that garden hose reel, those inexpensive reels I picked up from Lowe's. They're already mounted and ready to go, so after I get it all wired, I'll reel this up on it. And then the air hose on an identical hose reel, you know, again, those cheap plastic garden hose reels. I don't buy those expensive air hose retractable ones. I've been using these for 20 years and they work great. And they're 20 bucks versus hundreds. I did go ahead and upgrade. The extension cord was a choice. I like those uh, yellow jacket ones and they were, this was actually about ten dollars cheaper than the yellow jacket at least in the shopping that I did on Amazon Prime. I, I like the reviews I read about the flexibility although flexibility is not as important because it's rolled up you know on the on the hose reel but for the air hose my uh, this is a, a 3 8 and I have always pretty much put the cheapest ones on because I, it really didn't matter for flexibility but I decided to go ahead and pick up the Flexzilla. Again, it had great reviews. It was, this was pretty expensive, but it was less than $50, it was 40 something. And it is really nice feeling stuff. Really flexible. It's got nice ends on it that I can just screw my adapters on, but this stuff is really supple. So the, It'll be interesting to see how it holds up over time, uh, being drugged across the ground and things like that. But I'm looking forward to using it. I like the green. And then with the, ho with the uh, extension cord, I haven't actually pulled this out yet. This is, I just unboxed it, it's pretty heavy. Same color. And I'm not gonna cut it loose but it's got nice bonded ends and I, it's just got the single end on it. I did not want um, the triple tap uh, for this. So um, anyway, I'm pretty excited about these. I, again, I like the color and I like, I like the quality feel of them. So over time, you'll get to see how they work out. The Smart Wood Shop marches on. I'm making a lot of progress every day. And as you know, if you're following along, there's an entire series coming I'm videotaping it with two GoPros every single day and I'm taking the videos, adjusting them and organizing them and I've got them all laid out nice. This is day 21 work days. Uh, I'm getting about four to six hours of production in every day. A um, little, little bit of a push just because of doing the cameras plus I have other work to do as well. If you wanna follow along, be sure to subscribe and click on that little bell so you'll be notified when I put up a new video. And I will continue to try to do these daily drop-ins just to give you a peek so that we don't go a couple of months without uh, any videos from me and wondering what I'm doing. If you want a set of my workbench plans for the Total Station, the Pulk Compact Bench, or the Pulk Workbench 2, you can click on the link right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.